What's up guys, I'm Dan Jong. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I would like to share my journey to get the Stoller Press. I'll share what kind of training I did and share some tips along the way. Let's get started. It took me about six months of consistent training until I achieved the stalder on the floor. In order to stay completely focused, I actually stopped training for planche, which can be quite intensive on my body. Six months may seem long or short depending on how you look at it, but when I started, stalder seemed absolutely impossible for me. My shadow acid was almost non-existent and I would get severe cramps on my quads after holding it for just a second. My pressed handstand was also extremely unreliable, but after consistent effort, I was finally able to succeed my first rep just two weeks ago. My first successful staller on the parallel bars was actually almost three years ago, but my compression was really poor and it looked more like a planche press rather than the staller press. You can also see that I could not completely straighten my leg at the straddle else position. I decided to train for the staller around June of 2019 and I gave myself a goal that I would like to achieve the floor staller by end of 2019. Because I was already able to press like a planche press, I decided to focus mainly on the compression part. The problem was not the lack of shoulder strength but more of my hip strength. I started doing a lot of straddle leg raises, tons of straddle L-sit holds and a lot of stretching. After a couple months, I was getting quite confident with my straddle L sit. I used to get cramps after holding it for one second, but I was able to hold for sets of 10 seconds after two months of serious training. When I was getting confident enough with straddle L sit, I started mixing up my training with stalder press negatives. I first used a slightly elevated surface to lower myself down and my goal was to not drag my feet on the floor. When I was able to replicate this in multiple sets, I removed the plate and started training on the floor. But the frustrating part was that even when I was able to do the staller negatives quite consistently, I was still struggling with the concentric portion. There's a lot of strain on my wrist and my hips felt really heavy. At this point, I started mixing up with staller on the parallel bars as well as in order to do more reps. Having a bit of elevation really helped, even if that is only like 10 centimeter of elevation. After six months of consistent training, I finally got my first Stalder on the floor. I was so excited, as you can tell in this video. Stalder has been one of my dream moves and that dream finally came true. My Stalder still isn't very consistent and I can only do about two to three sets of a successful singles for the training session. My goal is to consistently work on it until I can do three reps. When I can do three reps, I'll probably shift my focus to planche training again. As a fairly heavyweight guy at 84 kilos with decent leg mass, I can tell you that Staller has one of the most challenging exercises I've ever trained. But it was such an enjoyable and worthwhile journey. I highly would like to recommend and challenge all of you to try train for it. It will be a very frustrating experience for some people, but I guarantee that it will be all worth it at the end. If you're interested in learning how to do a proper handstand and get direct coaching by me, I'm currently selling my handstand course on my website. I'll put the link down below if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching until this far, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.